Hello everyone, welcome back to Car Obsession. Today, you join me at Motor Village in Croydon and you join me with the Bath 595, but I'm not here to buy it, nor am I here to drive it. I know that may sound a little bit confusing, but it will make sense in due course. Now, as some of you may know, unfortunately, my wife and I, Patsy, we lost her father last February due to cancer and Trevor, her father, was a massive fan of the channel and he had nothing but support for what I did. So I, you know, in that, in that respect, I do owe him. Um, and that's kind of what I'm doing. So car obsession has gone from strength to strength since I started it in 2016. And I now want to give something back, particularly to, to Trevor, who you know, gave me so much support, uh, not only for car obsession, but um, you know, in my personal life and of course supporting Patsy and I. So, next February, to celebrate, well, maybe not celebrate, I think that's the wrong word, to commemorate a year of his passing, I want to do my bit to try and earn money for the lovely people at St. Christopher's Hospice that looked after him in his last days. So, this brings me on to the Abath. At this point, the link between what I'm doing and Abath has been very tenuous. So, let me fill you in. So I wanted to set myself some kind of challenge and I got talking to a bath and they agreed to give me a 595 to review. And after talking to them a little bit more, uh, I, I came up with this idea. I said, how about I do a road trip? And then I thought, no, how about setting myself a challenge? One day I will drive 595 miles. There we are, you're starting to see where the bath is coming into play. So the challenge is quite simply called 595 in a 595 because, yep, you've guessed it, I'm driving 595 miles in and a Bath 595. Now, the reason why I thought the Bath would be a good choice is because, let's be honest, the Bath isn't known for its comfort or its ability to cover long distances. It is, of course, a hot hatchback. It has firm suspension, it has sporty seats. Therefore, it's not really the sort of car you would want to drive on a long distance. And I think it will be a good test of endurance and I'm not going to compare what I'm doing um, to fighting cancer because that would be very foolish. But what I'm trying to get at is, is it will be a long drive and it, much like the, the battle against cancer can be quite long and very tiring. So that's kind of, it kind of sort of links in, in, in my mind at least anyway. So the challenge will take place in February uh, 2019. The reason, why, uh, the reason why I'm filming this video today is to really drum up some interest. I want, uh, I want to start uh, getting people interested and looking for support really, not only in regards to raising money, but actually supporting the trip itself. Um, so I'm, I'm looking to get some printed t-shirts done. Uh, I want some stickers to put on the car. So if you own a business or you, happened, or you happen to know someone that owns a business that can do t-shirt printing or anything that could potentially support my trip, please do get in touch. Uh, I have contacted uh, Shell UK to see whether or not they are able to support me in regards to fuel costs. If I'm honest, it's unlikely I'll get anything, but you don't get if you don't ask. And if Shell say no or they don't get back, back to me, I do, of course, have other choices. So yes, guys, if you can think of any way in which you can support this little venture, I would greatly appreciate it. You can get in touch with me um, via Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or you can um, leave me a comment in the comment section below, or you can send me an email via my website, carobsession.co.uk. So the, the, the challenge is still quite early in regards to the stages of planning, but I anticipate uh, we, because Patsy um, will be joining me hopefully, we, we should be starting somewhere in Scotland and the final destination will be St. Christopher's Hospice. Um, it seems like quite a fitting place in which to end the challenge. Uh, the starting point may change or it may vary, but at this moment in time, uh, I've picked some random place in Scotland because it's 595 miles door to door. You can see where I'm getting at. Um, so yeah, this is really just a short video. I say short video. I've probably been talking for quite some time, but yes, Guys and girls, I could really do with your support. Um, it's going to a good cause. Everything I raise will go directly 
to St Christopher's Hospice. They did a fantastic job looking after Trevor in his last day. So I really want to do whatever I can to give something back. And guys, I know we're getting towards Christmas, therefore money is tight. You want to make sure you are able to, you, you are able to buy your nearest and dearest some lovely presents. But if you can, give whatever you can, uh, whether it's a pound, a five, a tenner, whatever. Um, anything is better than nothing, guys. So don't feel like, oh, well, I don't want to donate because I've only got 50p to donate. I really couldn't give a monkeys. It's all going to a fantastic cause. Uh, I'd like to thank Motor Village for letting me come down to film with their bath. Now, I won't be using this particular car. This is just a model. It's just here for, um, I, was, I was going to say dramatic effect. No, it's just here for, uh, for as a visual aid, I suppose. I'd like to say a massive thank you to a bath UK for lending, lending me um, the 595, which I'll be taking delivery off the Monday, the 4th of February. Have I got my dates right? I don't know. Uh, and last but not least, I would like to say a massive thank you to you at home or wherever you are watching this video. Any support will be greatly appreciated. It's going to a great cause. I can't say that enough. Uh, if I have said it more, you know, if I've said it a load of times, I can only apologize, but I really want to get my point across. But yes, I think it's about time for me to stop rambling on and uh, finish. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. If so, give it a massive thumbs up. Be sure to support me. If you are subscribed, don't forget to click that bell icon so you get notified every time I make a video. And if you aren't subscribed, guys, what are you, what are you waiting for? Be sure to subscribe for more Car Obsession.